Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for May 23rd of 2023, well, it is titled Jupiter's Swirls from Juno. So what do we see here? Well, here is an image taken by the Juno spacecraft as it passed close to Jupiter in August of 2020. Now we see a lot of the turbulence and storms that we see and associate with the atmosphere of Jupiter. And we do have to recall that when we look at Jupiter, we are not seeing a solid surface, but we are seeing clouds in an atmosphere. Jupiter would have no solid surface to it. So we see the storms and the turbulence going on with the atmosphere and Jupiter generates a lot of turbulence in its atmosphere, likely because of its great internal heat generating energy and also that it it rotates very quickly so it's swirling around faster twice as fast as Earth and because it's a lot larger the velocities are even larger than that. So we study these storms. Why? Why do we look at storms on Jupiter? Well, to understand Jupiter, of course, but also to better understand Earth and to look at the storms in our atmosphere. Certainly there are differences between them, but there are similarities as well. And when you can study different versions of the same type of storm, you can sometimes get clues as to help us predicting storms and understanding storms and other weather, weather patterns here on Earth. Now the Juno spacecraft is in a very elliptical orbit and that means it swoops in very close to Jupiter for a brief period of time and then spends most of its time further away from the planet. Now this is a result of Kepler's second law which says that an object will move faster when it is closer to the object closer to the object it is orbiting. So a spacecraft orbiting Jupiter when it comes in very close will move quickly whereas when it's further away it will move very slow. And we have that same kind of thing with comets here in our solar system. They have highly elliptical orbits and will zip in close to the sun, spending a relatively small portion of their orbit very close to the sun and spending most of it in the vast reaches of the outer parts of the solar system. So as Juno sweeps in each time during each orbit, it is able to get us some very close up images and allow us to study in great detail these storms on Jupiter, some of which are the size of our entire planet. So that was our picture of the day for May 23rd of 2023. It was titled Jupiter Swirls from Juno. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.